Hey, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awaken to Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. And I'm so excited that Lori Rayon Anderson is back with us today with Master Cat Puda. And, you know, today we're going to be talking about communication and healing with the great whales and dolphins. And of course, anything else that comes through. Like there's always so much, as well as we'll be doing some live Q&A. We're going to be doing some processes that are also guided in the moment. Um, again, always very powerful. And we had Lori on last year, I think in July, and had a wonderful show, wonderful conversation. Again, wonderful messages and processes. And so we're back again now sharing something brand new and different. And I like how, you know, we've talked, you know, a little bit about, you know, communication with, with whales and dolphins in the past and how, you know, um, more and more people are starting to open up to that. And so Lori is, for those of you who don't know, is an internationally known interspecies communicator and soul healer. And her gifts allow her to speak to the animals and the angels and translate their messages to humanity. And so she specializes in communication with the great whales and dolphins and recognizes the uh, cetaceans, mm -hmm. cetaceans as the ancient beings and master healers on this planet. And so Lori works with Master Cat Puda and... Um, so mm -hmm. I'm going to let Lori explain more about who Master Cat Puda is and that relationship and how they work together. So please join me in welcoming Lori and Master Cat Puda to the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, thank you, Alara. We're delighted to be here. It's just wonderful. Yeah, and, and my partner is, I don't know if you can see her or not, but this is Master Cat Puda. Um, in this incarnation, she's now 11 years old and uh, she's Literally, you know, my partner in, in thought, word, and deed. Um, we're completely telepathic, and we found her to be a very wise being. And this mm -hmm. is not the first incarnation I've had her. This is actually the fourth. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've been in Puda school a long time, <laughs> and I've learned that she's a bit of a prophet. Um, Cryon has recognized her, this is years ago, uh, as an ascended being. Um, she seems to have knowledge of our Akashic records and knowledge of a little bit of the future, and sometimes she'll share snippets about that to help us prepare something, you know, mm -hmm. to go somewhere to complete a mission. Um, uh, earlier incarnation of Puda after my near-death experience uh, was a being called Pudi, and he literally sat out on a deck with me for about three years in Mexico and taught me to talk to the dolphins. He would, they would come when he would come out, and they would, three of them would gather, and they would make their dolphin sounds, and um, it was quite a unique time because I was in a very dark place. Mm -hmm. I didn't really, you know, open to it right away. And in the beginning of opening to that frequency, I got a headache. So you know, I would just go back to bed, you know. But over time, um, and having the full telepathy with the cat, or he would basically say to me, you know, we're here to create heaven on earth, and you're a major player, and, and it's time for you to get on board. And this is why your old life has been taken away from you. These are dolphins, and of course, they're going to help you. These are beings that are our elders. He called them elders on the planet. And later, of course, I found out that they've been here some 30 million years. And of course, the whales then came next, and they've been here millions of years, some 300 million years. And so I've been in dolphin and whale school for about 20 years now. And wow. um, started to give the dolphin messages first uh, to people because I could hear them and they would say important, wonderful things about my friends. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that they also know everything, like the animal, you know, like, like my cat did, about you. And right. they're, it's their greatest desire to bring forth a message of wisdom and of healing and of empowerment to you, you know, that's their, their joy. So they speak to me mostly from a group consciousness, but occasionally one will come. Uh, I had that recently in Mexico. I had one come and speak to me and actually speak to me in like a holographic movie kind of image. Um, and I've had a few come to the boat or I've been in the water with them where I felt an individual connection, but mostly they're very pod orientated and they're here, you know, for the good of the many. So they speak when one speaks, they speak for the group. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, and so during. It, you know, it, it's interesting because, you know, more and more people are starting to talk about, you know, communication with the whales and with the dolphins, but you've been doing this for a very long time. And now you've created your own school where you teach people how to, how to do that as well. I do. I do. Three years ago, I formed now the, um, the whale and dolphin energy light medicine school. That's a long name, but uh, <laughs> it starts out with the teachings from the whales on how to clear our bodies of, you know, lower energies of toxins of cut cords to old contracts. And the release of karma at the subconscious level, um, which is, is huge, you know. Uh, yeah. The whales have the overlighting presence of what we call the violet flame. And I'm sure many of you have heard of it, but the whales are the violet flame. 
so when they come, you know, they start to spin uh, around us and they, it's literally a fire. It burns out lower and negative energies. It's absolutely amazing. And the consciousness of the whales is, is close to that, what I would perceive to be God. You know, it, they're almost, I don't want to call them God. They're not, but they're in the realm of deities. Right. Knowing, knowing all about our planet, certainly being the pioneers here millions of years, years ago, they originally walked upright on the land and uh, later moved into the water, which is quite a story and became conscious breathers, which is the path that humans are headed on. You know, eventually we'll be conscious breathers too, as opposed to involuntary. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we won't sleep in the same way. You know, we'll have a conscious energy um, around us all the time, more godlike, more of the avatar. Right. And then, you know, in all the years of working with the dolphins, in 2008, they gave me a profound message, which is a foundational message now for part of our school, which is that they are the epigeneticists of the world. And what that means is that they have the ability to change your DNA. Actually, mm -hmm. you do too, but you don't know it. Mm -hmm. So most people aren't doing it because they're not even aware of it. We're still taught in school there's only two strands of DNA. Right. And they're actually, they're actually 12. Yeah. And within the 12 strands, there are 12 substrands. And so we, you literally have 144 strands of DNA, which is the, the complete makeup for what we would call, you know, the advanced human, the golden child, which we're, we're evolving back into. But there's no way, I, I don't think anyway, that there's any way we can really achieve that without the dolphins. Mm -hmm. And I don't necessarily mean you have to go jump in the ocean and swim with dolphins. However, I recommend it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they'll come to you in the theory and um, they're just beginning to introduce themselves to us as these dimensional doctors so to speak where they work with us um, and the DNA based on our intention and so our whole module two of our whale and dolphin energy medicine is about working with the dolphins and um, an ascended council of dolphins that come and the people that you know enroll in school we learn to know these dolphins and we channel them they give us very specific advice about different people that we're working with and about ourselves and we get to know them just like uh, like you and I you know like mm -hmm. another person and they come in and uh, take over the session so to speak and amazing things start to happen it's about a deeper level of understanding the emotional body right. um, in our world we've been taught to think right to be smart to be competitive and all of which is a crash and burn scenario you might have figured that out by now you know, the mind will lead you down a dark alley every time um, it's not meant to make decisions about your life. It doesn't have the capacity to love, but your heart does. Mm -hmm. So the heart is the organ that, you know, the animals and, you know, higher consciousness now teaches us to return to the heart, to live and create from the heart and use the mind in an appropriate fashion, which is the data processor that it is. You know, it's an amazing organ. It helps us operate all the other organs, but it is not meant to make decisions. It's polarized. It's in two halves. So the mind will tell you, yes, you can do it. No, you can't. Yes, you can do it. No, you can't. Yes, you can't. Pretty soon, you know, you're as confused and neurotic as you can be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've all been there, done that. But you're right. It doesn't work. And the, the mind is only going to give you scenarios or reasons or plans or stuff that you've already seen or done before, not anything new, right? And now in this time and space that we're in now, it's time to create a different type of reality using... Right you know, more of our, um, more of our heart, more of our intuitive knowingness and awareness and really what feels good for us. Right. 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 Yeah. The whales being the elders, in fact, this might be a good time if it's okay to share a short message that would kind of set the stage. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Absolutely. A couple of years ago, I was getting ready to go to Florida to a conference on podcasting. I do a lot of podcasting and shows like yours mm -hmm. and there is only one page to put everything I wanted to write. And I thought, how will I ever explain the whale and dolphin medicine and animal communication, the things that I do in one page. And so it was down to the print deadline, right? And one of the great white whales that I work with, he came into the office at night and I was stressing, which I'm not normally stressing. And he said, why don't you let me write it? And I went, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's short and sweet. Here it is. Um, beloved humans, we are your elders. And we are the molecular librarians of Earth's history. We embody conscious creation, and we have the experience and intention to assist you with core level healing. It is our intention to assist humanity in claiming their mastery and restoring your physical forms to radiant health. As you awaken your dormant DNA, you will naturally evolve into awakened geniuses. You will then live and create from your hearts in communities across the globe where you will change the outdated and broken structures of medicine, of education, 
government and sustainable living. Connect with us now and we will accelerate your intention to evolve. We are Solution Energy. We are the great white whales. We represent the cetacean nations of Earth and we are cosmic creators. Namaste. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. So Hard and sweet, but they say yeah, say absolutely. a lot. Of it, I don't think. So and, and I was happy with that. Oops, what happened to our sound? Who knows? Um <laughs> and you know, I was just gonna say, you know, these, you know, the, the the messages that you receive from the whales and or from the dolphins, they're always um not always, but they're at a higher level, right? They're not about the day-to-day -day practicality of, you know, I don't know what exactly anymore, but you know, it's not the day-to-day, -day, but it's the higher wisdom, right? Am I right? Oh, it's always a higher dimensional energy, yes, it is. Um, Master Puder describes it as like when you want to communicate with animals, and then particularly dolphins and whales. You have to go from your AM radio station to your FM radio station, right? In, inwardly is a metaphor. Yeah. And there's no way you're ever going to get an FM station on the AM band. You've got to rise up in your frequency. Yeah. However, I have had dolphins in session work speak very clearly to an individual that's very, very sick or very dark um, in order to help them. Uh, the wisdom. But it comes through, you know, I guess my consciousness in order for me to speak that. But when they give a message, it's always for the general public, you know, for humanity to rise up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and, that, and the thing is, you know, right now, everything is changing so fast and, you know, like so much. It's like those, you know, we have to start thinking about the bigger picture, right? Like where yes. do we want to go, you know, as not just as a species, but even individually, where do we want to go, right? Or, you know, what do we want to experience, right? How do we yeah. want our lives to unfold moving forward, right? And uh, says, go ahead. Uh, do we have to stop doing the same things wrong over and over? Because, you know, you can look at civilizations that have risen and fallen, and they're all about greed and corruption and conquer. You know, and we have to stop with that. We have to stop and come back to the pod mind or mm -hmm. to the group mind, you know, like the dogs have the the pack and you know, the dolphins have the pod. We have to come back to the to the to what's good for everyone because then you become recognized and you become uplifted and you're still a unique and sovereign being, but you're contributing to the greater good. And that's when things will really change. Right. And, you know, I, I am seeing some of that happening on the planet. You probably are too. Mm -hmm. But not Absolutely. enough, you know. But, but you know, slowly, slowly, step by step, one person at a time, we are all making a difference. And that's the thing is like, you know, even if it's just within our communities, even if it's just within our families, even if it's just with our friends, we can make start to make a difference. Right. Right. You know, um, all of this change, too, is based on the simple fact that we're not taught to really love ourselves appropriately. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're taught that we're, you know, at least a lot of the North American teachings are fall on your knees. You're not worthy. You're born in sin. You know, this is not a good foundation for a star being to come to a planet to rise up and, and teach love, you know, mm -hmm. and that's really what we are. No one's from Earth. You know, we're all star beings that are here having a human experience. So we have to overcome the falsehoods that we've been taught, you know, and come back to the tr truth of our power. There's no limit to our power. I mean, even the other star beings that helped star seed us in, in the experiment um, after we fell from grace, they all helped us knowing that we would over we would. Um, rise above them vibrationally because we've received all of their gifts. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's there's never a better time than now to see yourself as a divine being that has unlimited gifts. And I don't mean from a conceited point of view. Mm -hmm. I mean from a place of really owning your power so that you can do something with it. You know, the old saying is our, is the the glass half full or half empty. Well, I think it should be full all the time, not half yeah. empty. We have to keep doing that. So we have something to pour out each day and share with others not to be conceited it's to be really a divine being with 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 power to change the world so you just um i don't know something just came to me right now as you were speaking and it's about you know in our day-to-day -day life you know if we want to make a difference in our own lives in our family with our children etc we do have to you know pay attention to what we're thinking feeling radiating vibrating at right and so part of that is also about um our energy field and our aura and maintaining that and clearing that up. What do the whales and or dolphins have to say about maintaining our energy field and raising our vibration? Such a great question. I love it. So the humpback whales are the whales that we primarily work with. 
Uh, and they have told us over and over and over in many different ways that they are here to help humanity heal. They have the gifts to help us clean our, uh, our body at the subatomic level. So we're talking clear every cell, every molecule, every atom, every subatomic particle, even fractals. And to move basically even through the timelines, through back and forward in time, to come to this moment as your life, to this moment is when I have power. Because in our DNA, you know, we come from many lifetimes and not all of linear timelines. So the way we have consciousness here is like a train running down a track, right? Mm -hmm. There's a past and a present and a future. That's not really how it is in mm -hmm. other worlds. It's a quantum signature and everything's happening at the same time. So they can come in with their living light field. That's the Merkaba. When you summon them, only with permission. They'll never touch you without your permission. You have to give, which means you have to have enough consciousness to even ask them, right? Yeah. So then they descend over us and they begin to spin out the lower energies in, in session work. And when you play um, whale sounds, the, the singing sounds of the humpback whales, we have found that to be interdimensional. Um, I've done a lot of this work on faith because I just, you know, I'm, I'm an intuitive, so I operate on faith. But in the last years, science is catching up a little bit. You know, there's a, a great scientist on the planet. Uh, some of you may know him through uh, his work or Cryon, and he is Dr. Todd Ovakides. Mm -hmm. And he's a friend of ours, and he, he's worked with um, Dr. Emoto, you know, the Japanese scientist, mm -hmm. and I'm sure most of you know, changed the world in the sense of brought to our knowledge that water is sentient yeah. by photographing the crystalline structure of water and saying, if we say words of blessing or we play beautiful music, the crystalline structure of the water actually changes and turns into beautiful, like snowflakes. It's, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And if we play rap music or we say, I hate you, or, you know, negative words, the, the actual structure of the water molecule collapses. It looks like tar. You mm -hmm. know? So think about your body. What has your body been listening to? <laughs> Beautiful music and words of love? Or have you been playing, you know, nasty music and <laughs> having an argument with someone? Right. So the yourself. cells in your body are, are responding right now in this very moment to where your consciousness is. So his, his work is very interesting because they played whale sounds for the Tokyo tap water. And we're told that the Tokyo tap water is the filthiest water in the world, full of toxins and poison and debris. I mean, the Japanese have really messed up their water. And so by playing the whale sounds, that was the only thing that they could get the, the water to clear. And then inside of the water, little star tetrahedrons or Merkabas, basically, which mm -hmm. is the, the geometric structure of the light body, formed. So listening wow. to whale sounds not only clears all toxicity, it starts to create the light body. And they're floating through your blood, you know, little geometric structures of, of the light body. So and no accident that the white whales came into us with Master Buddha's prophecy in 2012 and they started to give us the templates to create light body. There are 12 of them. And that's a big part of our school mm -hmm. is you learn them and you learn to implement them. And then of course, really you step back and being in our school really is about channeling. It's about stepping back and letting your body be a vehicle for this energy, mm -hmm. this consciousness. Awesome, thank you. And so, you know, I've always been attracted to whale sounds and i find that when i listen to whale sounds or whale songs i feel like i go to other dimensions i mean yeah. i don't i don't even stay here i am gone right um and it is so powerful and at the same time you know it's it's part it, it's so it's i don't know it's interesting because it's like i feel really grounded but at the same time i'm gone in into you know who knows where right so into different galaxies and so on. So it's like, how can I be grounded and be off? <laughs> well, we would call that balance. You, you know? know, because when you're grounded, you can travel to other places. Yeah. And certainly the whale sound would take you back to the Syrian system, which is where we're all from, in the sense of not where we're from as a star seed, but where we're from when we build our bodies. They're master geneticists. And then here on the planet, they're epigeneticists to help mm -hmm. us recalibrate our DNA because you know, let's face it, we, we were stripped down to two strands of DNA yeah. after the fall from 5D. And so it's up to us to come back and turn the lights on, you know, but we need help to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of, most of us have a lot of subconscious stuff, emotional blocks, because again, we've been taught to be smart and to compete and to be private, not to share and be open and know that we're cared for by the universe, right? We're taught mm -hmm. all of the wrong things. <laughs> But when we come back to the truth that we are cared for and that we're loved and supported in all ways, then the synchronicity of the universe can start to bless you. And the whales are the greatest teachers of that. People just, you know, sometimes I'll just put the whale sounds on in a show like this or in a private session, and people just start bawling. They just start crying because it's home. Yeah. And they're experiencing home. 
um, over 80 countries and maybe more now in this world have created laws to protect the whales and dolphins. And some of those countries don't even have ocean borders. There's a part of us that intuitively knows that we're related to these great creatures. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, in a very real way, are our ticket here and they're our ticket home. Mm -hmm. So we must connect um, sooner or better. <laughs> Back to the ones that have been given the power that didn't go to sleep. You know, they mm -hmm. are literally stewards for the Akashic records on our planet, molecular librarians, if you will. So, and what, that so is in the physical as well as in the etheric. So, what are they saying right now about, you know, this new age that we're in? We're in 2020, we're in a new decade, we're in a new year, we're in a new, you know, the age of so much fast, rapid change and transformation. Right. What are they saying right. about that? Well, everything's accelerating. So you may have noticed, and I don't want to be disrespectful, but the planet herself now is is coming into a consciousness where she's always been our caretaker, and we've always been able to abuse her and hurt her. Mm -hmm. And that is over. That is literally over. The karma wheels, in that sense, is complete. And it's up to every single person that chooses to stay on the planet and become a light worker or a more advanced light worker mm -hmm. to take the consciousness and the planet into heart. I mean, we must be here now for the planet. We must be here to heal her and help her and because she's going to ascend. And you may or may not want to be present for that. A lot of people are leaving the planet because they're not willing to deal with their karma or they're, you know, they're going to be taken to another place. And I don't mean they're not loved. I mean, they're going to be taken to a place where they can continue living their lives in duality, which will be perfect for them. And remember, all roads lead home. Eventually, they will awaken. They will come back to where the discussion we're having now. Um, but it's, it's, Master Putin says, Mother Gaia is shaking off the fleas and the fleas are going to be cared for. They're going to be taken to a place where fleas can thrive, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> but that's not here anymore. Right. And so the whales are saying now is the time really to open to multidimensional consciousness and to stop seeing yourself as just this little physical being because you're not, mm -hmm. you know, when you tune to the spirit part of you, that's the expanded, you know, we'll, we'll call the soul energy of you. It's huge. Yep. Absolutely yeah. huge. And you have a support team that's so big, it's so unimaginable to you that you would have that kind of support. I just work with people to get them to tune into their three master guides because every single person here is a package of four. Okay. You come here with three right now, and they are here 24 7. And when you open to that communication alone, you open up the third eye and the heart and communicate with them. Anybody can do it, just takes mm -hmm. practice mm -hmm. and, and alter altercations of your belief system because. Your belief system that is what keeps you either you know fenced in or expanded right and that's up to you when you can change limiting thought forms to what if you know then they can show you without scaring you it's kind of interesting example i work with light beings and um often they're you know they're really easy to see and really easy to communicate with and and it brings so much joy is to go out to the beach particularly at night right because you can see them mm -hmm. and if i go to a populated area and or i bring people with me that have never had that experience and they have a lot of fear they don't come, or they don't come very long. They'll just show themselves far out. But if I have a closed, more group of people that are really open and they really know that they're also a star being, then they come and they do beautiful light shows, and you know they never want to frighten you. Their point. Yeah. They just want to show you and reconnect with you. Mm -hmm. It's like, hi, we're the family, you know. <laughs> yeah, show you that something else is possible, and that you know we are greater than what we have told ourselves or what the, you know society has told us that we are. And, you know, I mean, I know, you know, I, even in my own family, people would think I was crazy if I would suddenly start to say, yeah, you know, what? I, you know, we have galactic support systems and galactic families and we are galactic. And they'd be like, are you, like, are you smoking something? Like, what are you <laughs> on? Right? He always says, where did you think you're from? <laughs> <laughs> did you think you were from Earth? <laughs> Oops. No. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I mean, so really, when people start to think about it, you know, we're just camping here, and, and there's a big mission with the camping trip here. So, yeah. you know, when you get on board with that, you're going to have a lot more success with your camping trip because you're going to go home eventually. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to go back to your family. But the, the vibration right now is such that they can actually communicate with you. And when you start with dogs and cats and dolphins and whales, I mean, they just blaze that path of light for you to open to multi dimensional and interspecies communication because. Mm -hmm. Anybody can do it. Anybody can. I don't want anybody to think that I'm special. I just practice a lot, pretty much all day. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, I, I forgot to mention at the very beginning that if you do have a question for Lori or Master Cat Puda, you can either raise your hand or you can type it in the chat. Okay, we will be taking some caller questions. Um, I don't know what about per se. We'll see what 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 exactly, but you know, preferably around you know this topic that we're talking about, whales and dolphin communication and healing. But you know, we'll see what else wants to come through. Um, I have a little piece here that sure. maybe would better answer your question. It's it's kind of recent, what the whales said. Sh should I read it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. The whales have said, we're witnessing a pivotal time in history when one civilization is dissolving and a new world paradigm is being birthed a lot. If you sense the world, as you know, is changing, it truly is. The incoming photonic infusion of divine light from the galactic center is dissolving old and outdated institutions, structures, old mental constructs, and toxic behavior for the humans. All this out of balance is destined to collapse. This is a time to be really aware of how you're feeling and to take excellent care of yourself. The dolphins continue to teach us that the human DNA uses photonic light as a feedback system of communication through energy waves which encode and transfer information. So when you come back to this frequency we call zero point, you literally enable your own molecules to speak to each other and change happens. This works through what your science calls entanglement and is virtually instantaneous. It happens through multidimensional oscillating frequencies. And today, the whales utilize this opportunity to assist you in crystallizing your soul's life path through this frequency. So stand in the energy of zero point field whenever you can. And what that means is you must be grounded, you must be really connected to the earth. And you're breathing in the frequency of the earth up through your feet, up through your legs, up into your heart and connect your crown chakra to the sun because that's the portal of source light. Mm -hmm. And bring that source light down through the crown, down into the heart. And the unity of the male and female energies then will help you materialize this vision and an intention for the new earth. Remember, we are the alchemists and we are initiating new consciousness codes and templates to create the new 5D hologram. This is our gift to Gaia and humanity. And this is how the whales fulfill their mission. Mm. That's kind of good. Yes, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, someone, Maya, is asking where are Maha, are, is asking where are the best places to swim and heal with the dolphins? Oh, with me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm two days away from leaving for an annual retreat that I do in Hawaii, and I'm mm -hmm. very addicted to swimming with the Kona dolphins off the Big Island. Uh, there's several hundred of them, and they're acclimated. They come every day to the boats and to the people. So go to Kona um, to swim with those dolphins, and you can contact me if you want to know about good swim guides and good boats, because I, I pr pretty much just do it once a year, and I'm, I'm actually leaving Saturday. So you'd have to hurry and pack your swimsuit, which you could. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and nice. then in June, um, we go to the Caribbean. We go to the Bahamas, and we go to the little island of Bimini, and these are the Atlantic spotted bottlenose dolphins. They're often considered the friendliest dolphins in the world. And it's a bucket list trip because we have our own boat, we have our own chef, we have our own hotel, the whole thing. We take it over and we have a meeting room where we meditate. And it's pretty amazing. Mm. It's just really great. And every day swimming with those beautiful dolphins and listening to them and then sharing their messages when we come back and being in our little human pod. And uh, I can only talk 12 people to that. My, my retreats are pretty intimate. And then September is the bucket list trip of all is uh, the United States has said that it's illegal to swim with the back whales, like, you know, like they know, you know. So we go to Morea, which is off the island of Tahiti. Uh, it's a heart-shaped island. I think it's considered, many people say it's the most beautiful island in the world. It's tropical. Mm -hmm. And the humpback whales are there in September and October, and they're coming up from the South Pole, and they are mating and birthing, and we get to see the babies. And, and we swim with them legally and we could just relax, you know. I've swam with the whales in Hawaii a few times, but since it's against the law, the captains are always looking, you know, to see if the Coast Guard's coming. And, um, you know, nobody wants to get in trouble, but everybody wants to be in the water with the whales. And mm -hmm. Of course, the whales want us in the water with them. So, so think about coming, you know, to Morea. Uh, I still have space. Um, and another place in the world you can swim with them is Tonga. So you have to travel a bit, but it's worth it, you know. Yeah. Awesome. Good question. Thank you. 
Um, and then PC is asking, um, some said that the whales and dolphins are leaving the earth in the physical dimension and will continue to support us from the higher dimensions. Is that true? Well, you know, Patricia, um, what's her name? Corey, Patricia Corey, wrote a book um, a few years ago. It's called Before We Leave You. And it's her perception of what the whales said, that they were leaving the planet um, and going home. And, you know, well, that's, we've just talked about it. everybody's leaving the planet soon and going mm -hmm. home. We just don't exactly know when. So 100 people called me and emailed me and said, is that true? So I remember just, I was actually driving when I got the message and I pulled over the car. I was driving back from Arizona. And I said to the whales, are you really leaving? Is it true? And they said, ask us to stay. And I said, I'm asking. And they said, then we'll always be around you. We'll always stay and work with you. Some of us are leaving, but a lot of us are staying. And, you know, we're here till till it's over. You know, mm -hmm. we're here to close the door when the ascension's over, you know. Wow. I just got chills all over when you said that. Yeah. But some yeah. are leaving. Yes, they are. They're yeah. complete. But some are staying. So, you know. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good. Um, so I think Dashka has a question. She has her hand raised. I'm going to go ahead and unmute her. Okay. One, sec one second, Dashka. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Awesome. Hi, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I am, have my cat named Flash who is very itchy. And I'm wondering if you can feel into his energy and see what is. Um, to scan him, what's irritating him so much that maybe I can eliminate, hopefully, if it's something outside, I mean, I'm not going to not let him go outside, so. Well, um, the best way for me to connect with an animal is with a picture, and then I have a meditation with them, and I, I, you know, I get in touch with their soul first, and then usually the personality will give me permission to come in, and mm -hmm. cats sometimes take a little bit. They check you out before they always talk. Uh, as far as itchy, um, are there fleas involved, or? Or have you looked no. no, no, there's no fleas, and um, I he took off quite a bit of hair on him, so I actually started him on um prednisone, and he was a steroid, and he was receptive to that. And now we're in the process of weaning weaning him off of that. Okay. Um, next question is he, is he an indoor cat? No, he's indoor outdoor. Because indoor cats develop a lot of problems, as you probably know. Yeah. No, I'm making sure that he can get grounded on the earth. So That's a couple important. of options to consider um, is contact me privately. And, you know, we could do an in-depth session. And I would, again, work with him prior to our session, you and I. I would speak with him and write down everything that he wanted to, to share based on the questions that you said. And, of course, what he wanted to say as well. But He so just he, came in. He knows that we're talking yeah, about yeah. <laughs> because he's outdoor, then it's 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 either food related or it's an emotional kind of thing that's going on. So, um, when you think of scratching, what 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 comes to mind with emotion that would go with that for a human, not for a cat, but for a human? Irritation. Okay. Um, so uh, now you have to ask yourself, what is he showing me? What is he teaching me? Now, and, and again, I don't know if most of you know my philosophy on animals is they have no karma. They have no reason to get sick or injured. So if they do, they're always teaching us something from that perspective. They're teaching us something that we need to see or someone in the family needs to see or um, they're being an actual vehicle of that message. So, so if there's no fleas and there's no food allergy and he's getting to go outside, then it's got to be something connected to the emotional body for you or someone you live with or okay. it could be, food, could be food related. I could ask him if it's food related. Okay. Yeah, I am. Um, try trial of hypoallergenic food to see if that makes the itching. And yeah, the I'm gonna get, get a no on the food. I'm gonna get, get more, no on the food. more emotional stuff that he would would want you to. So, are, is any part of your life not smooth and graceful? Is there a part that's <laughs> irritable or? Sure. I mean, um, uh, but I do my best to roll with with the flow of and make it um trust the okay. process so would right? you say you're a person that lives in your heart or do you still have mental construct oh um i would say i still have a little bit of mental construct i haven't completely gone 100 percent to my heart but i've moved tremendously 
closer and what? I've really gotten out of my mind. Yeah. It's been a wonderful journey for, for certain. Um, yeah. Well, the mind like, is where the judgment is, right? And right. where negative thoughts, you know, really emanate from. So the heart will offer you solution energy every time. So okay. a couple of different options there is to meditate with him too and say, you know, show me what part of myself I can change that will let you release this behavior. Okay. He will. And then will he stop losing hair? Absolutely. Be- yeah, their, their natural right. state is com- perfect health. Animals are here as, think of them as walking, talking angels. And if an angel has to demonstrate a broken arm or, you know, a, an allergy or, you know, I don't know, some kind of negative behavior, aggressiveness, it's because they're showing it to you. So would you say your home can be more calm, more uh, expansive, more illuminated? Yes. Okay. And I think most of us can say that. It can always get better, right? Right. So your Absolutely. animals are your barometers. I mean, if they're showing you something, it's, it's so you'll see it. And, you know, they'll take you to the mat, too. You know that probably now. I mean, they'll take, it, they'll take you down in showing you what you need to see because that's how important it is. I can, I can make an example. I mean, I, I can remember um, after my near-death experience in my car accident, I would come back, which was a, a head trauma, and my ear got infected from the surgery. And pus was like coming out of my ear, right? I came home, and my cat was sitting on the porch with pus pouring out of his ear. Mm. He's like, are you going to heal this or what? You know, are you going to go on with this? Because I was whining. You know, I was doing the human whining. Oh, my ear. Too. Instead of focusing on healing myself and saying, okay, I created this. So. For, for a cat, particularly, they're master conscious creators. They're masters at it. They're, they're 12 dimensional beings that come from the Laren system, then they come down through the Syrian system, and they have an evolved body far beyond what our human body is. You probably know that. They have evolution in their eyesight. You know, their skin is not attached to their body. They have air in their bones. I could go on. They, they're here to teach and to show you how to be and live. Uh, in a very happy and beautiful enlightened state so keep that in mind that you're dealing with somebody who's teaching okay that's see, really see if you can shift it from there and yeah. i would apologize for for your you know i'm always apologizing in, in a loving way to to puda or to whoever for me for not seeing something that they were trying to show me like last week you know because when i get it i get that aha moment right i'm like oh my god you've been showing me this for a long time Yeah. Yeah. And okay. It makes a lot of sense. It's work with that. Yeah, it's so helpful of a new way to integrate and to look at it because I'm I hadn't yeah, hadn't thought of that on my yeah. yet. Here's what Master Puna says, release yourself from emotional and physical blocks that keep you bound to the human story of duality. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Dashka. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's, it's a big B. Yeah. Thank you. Well, That's great. Thank you. We're in the presence of these wonderful teachers that we owe it to them to try to get the lesson. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Great question. And I had, did not even know where we were going to go with that, but thank you so much for that. Cause that, that just, that just gives me more of an awareness as well of, you know, maybe, something that Neil was trying to teach us, you know, right. that me, you know, I may not be getting, but maybe he's trying to teach right. us something. The simplest thing is to, to look at them and see a being that has no karma. Mm-hmm. They have no responsibility to, to be something that's less than love. See, the human has the opportunity in every moment to, to choose love or not to choose love or the myriad of forms in between, right? Mm-hmm. We have that opportunity to not be loving. Yeah. So they don't. They are love. 24-7. They don't ever leave that. The frequency is always love. So sometimes it's tough love, but it's always love. <laughs> they, have, they have no karma. They have only purpose. Mm-hmm. And the purpose, of course, is to, in the domestic world, is for cats and dogs to intervene and to be these, these great teachers. So And healers. They're also healing us all the time. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Um, there's a question from Celeste. She says, I'm recovering from a hip replacement surgery and having terrible pain in both legs and my lower back. I have been using pain medication a little more, but I don't want to use it all. I I don't want to use it at all. Could you guide me in asking the dolphins and whales for healing energy to get past this, please? 
Yeah, well, first thing is to start playing whale sounds on a loop in your house 24 seven. And blaze, you know, see and sense the violet flame, which is their energy field, clearing out, you know, clearing out the home, clearing out your body, clearing your car, clearing your animal's body, clearing your yard. Uh, I blaze the violet flame all day long. Of course, I also play whale sounds. Um, and for, for that kind of thing, I, I would recommend you have a session, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you potentially do it with me or you could potentially do it with uh, our interns are all going to graduate on March 1st. So some of them are still doing free sessions um, and they're amazing. So you mm -hmm. can contact me for that. Uh, I would do a, a core level healing with the whales and uh, let go of some of this. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so oh, come. go ahead. I'm just saying, don't just asking them to, to come to your house will help. Right. Okay, cool. Reverend Randy has a question. Randy, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you. Go ahead. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, I can barely hear you, Randy. Um, how about now? No. Uh, oh, better. Okay. Yeah. I. I uh, really appreciate you. Thank you for being you, both of you. Uh, Thank you. I am learning to heal FQAD. And this is DNA damage. That's uh, actually we all have it because so much quinolone has been given to our livestock. If you study FQAD, there's no way to get around the fact. That I don't know what FQAD is. Uh, it, it's DNA damage from taking Levaquin and Cipro. Okay. Antibiotic that uh, and and so much of that has been given to our livestock in our lifetime that there's no way that we're not all a GMO already. Okay. Literally, okay. if you look at it, it's a big pink elephant, like like fluoride. <laughs> it's okay. it, you know it's big. It's and and I, I've been learning to heal it in many ways. Like uh, one of the ways that's worked, and I'm asking for some wisdom to come through from the whales about this, as I know it'll serve us all. There's DNA damage that happens from quinolones uh, right. is something that literally affects everyone. Um, in my case, I took antibiotics for a tooth infection 13 years ago. And it, up until I proved that it wasn't MS, I thought it was MS. And now I realize that it's not that. Meanwhile, in order to keep the pink elephant where it is, you know, you can't even get doctors to talk about it, really. Because yeah, well, it. you're not going to get help from someone who gave you the product. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's yeah, that's, so. that's not the way through. The way yeah. I've been doing it is blessing it. And also, uh, I did a like a walk-in on myself, except I brought in a version of my own soul from a time when I'm well and overlaid it onto my soul now. Nice. And, yeah. And, and I knew that that's right. I, I was invoking for that for a while, and then I did it, and I knew that it just happened, and, and, and holy smoke. But to, you know, wrap the mind around that. Sort of well, you got to put the mind to sleep because it's not yeah. serving. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you already have a grip on what to do, but I would recommend working with dolphins. Yeah. They would accelerate this for you. So, so they're so the most, you know, sentient and spiritually advanced system, you know, beings on the planet. And they would help you upgrade the system again um, to what they would call the divine life blueprint, which is where you started when you were born. So you believe that when your body was first designed, it was perfect. Uh, yeah. Half the time, I can get there, but at least 51% of the time. Yeah, so, but they have what they call the sonogenetic ability to use their sound in the etheric and in the physical to fine tune the DNA. And so it happens very quickly. But again, one second. One second. <laughs> I'm trying to mute some people that are, are getting unmuted, Brett. You know, for some reason, there we go. Go okay. back. So we're we're connected to the collective consciousness decision that humanity made when we brought antibiotic antibiotics forward, and it's not about being good or good or bad or about being right or wrong. It's about that we did it, and they exist here now. So we want to work with them at the highest possible level, not be in defense or in a, in a war zone with them. Yeah, it's I bless it. It's about, yeah. inter right, right. It's about integrating the frequency of love into what's been already created. And there's nobody better equipped to do it than the dolphins because they have the abilities to accelerate all of this. I mean, they're the designated keepers of this energy, of the epigenetics of the world. Um, 
And they're just, they're just starting to reveal that. They told me only in 2008 did they get an overlighting dump, I guess you'd say, or download. And it first went into the Red Sea, and then it traveled all around the world to the planetary dolphin, to where they received the ability to work with us at the next level as humans. Because, you know, let's face it, I mean, years ago, we didn't even know if we were going to make it, if we were going to come through and, and not destroy the planet or ourselves or, you know. Uh, there was a prophecy, I think it was in 2002, with that psychic child Thomas, who sat up in the up in Bulgaria in the mountains, and he said, if the dolphins and whales start to come to the cities, you will have made the jump, you will have made the bridge across, and they're then going to begin to assist at a, at a very accelerated way. They're going to be coming to the cities to help people. If they don't come to the cities, then you can see that you didn't make the jump, and you can prepare for your way home, because, you know, it'll be over. You know, in other words, we'd probably have World War III or something like that. So, but as you now know, they're coming to every city. They're coming to every town. They're, sw they're swarming the boats when the boats come out. They're, they're bending over backwards to heal us. So take advantage of it. And again, I would recommend contacting me and we can do a session or I can put you in touch with some of my interns um, that are going to graduate pretty soon. I think you'll be delighted with, with the work they're doing. And in any way possible for you to go see them in the physical, it would bring you great joy. They would help you. I not, not required though. I swam with them years ago, and right now I'm pretty much bedridden. I get out of I'm 22 hours okay. a day. I'm in bed. So well, I'm, everything we do, we do long distance, and most everything I do is on the phone, even mm -hmm. you know, or Zoom, you know. And I work with people in every country. So that's why. That's that's help. why. I, There's help here for you. Thank you for you. Thank you for me and you. Yeah, you're welcome. So, so Randy, um, connect with Lori, and she will get you connected with some of the interns that are graduating soon, and you know, get a session with one of them. Okay. I'm looking into it. Good. Awesome. Great. Thank Peace you. With you. Blessings. Awesome. Um, all right. So, oh, one second. Uh, iPhone. Um, go ahead, iPhone. <laughs> I'm gonna unmute you. I know maybe there's more than one iPhone, but the one that has their hand raised, I'm gonna unmute you. Hello. Hi, I'm Heather. Hi, Hi Heather. <laughs> Hi. Um, I, I sent you a message. My my kitty Jonesy uh, ran away a few weeks ago, and she was gone for like her, my husband's right here. How long was it? Like thirteen, uh, 13 days. Thirteen days. She was gone for thirteen days, and she just she's been cranky uh, since we brought a new kitty. Uh, into the house. That'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I just wondered, is there any way to kind of communicate with her? I have her right here next to me. She's a beautiful. Hi, Jonesy. Um, Jonesy. Yeah. Well, we can try. What is her question? Well, I just, is there something we can do to make her happier other than get rid of <laughs> The other kitties, obviously. Um, you know, is there? I just, I, I, I feel like she's unhappy, and I don't quite know okay. what to do to so make it. You know, she's pushing um, her boundary in your face. Is what I see right now. It's better than it was, but she says you didn't ask her before you got the other cat. Is that true? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, she says it's my house too. I should have been asked. Ah. Uh, and I might have agreed, but you know, you, you just shut me out, so I shut you out. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Oh, so, you know, what goes around comes around kind of thing. So I think she's back though to stay and you know, I think the friendship with the other cat will occur. But uh could apologize. Apology can go a long ways. Okay. And and there's a part of you that doesn't believe you can communicate with her and she would like you to stop feeling that way and open up your heart to your third eye and maybe take a couple classes, you know. That's what we do. And, and you'd open up to so much more. I mean, think about what if every person on the planet had communication skills with the animals? What would that be like? Would that change our world? Yeah, bingo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we know all the time what they're thinking. You know, they know when an earthquake's coming or a hurricane, they even know when it's going to rain. I mean, they have wisdom beyond the wisdom, you know? They know everything all the time about what's coming and what's going in. Um, the other day, somebody called me and they asked me if I would do a session uh, and be Master Cat Puda's voice. And it's somebody I know pretty well, actually. Anyway, they said, can we talk to her about making Oregon? And I'm like, I don't know much about Oregon. I know a little bit about Oregon, but not too much. And I said, sure. And she not only gave them all the details they wanted, I didn't even know she knew about Oregon. I forgot she knows everything. Animals do. And 
she even told them where to go to buy one of the products and what the price was and it was on sale. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I got a, 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 you know, at that moment, a bigger view of the consciousness that, I mean, you just would tap into Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever and say, oh, go over here. It's more affordable. Use these ingredients. And, you know, I, I mean, we, we just, we really have to try to wrap our minds around this advanced consciousness that we're living with. For everybody that has a dog or a cat or a bird or a horse or a reptile in their house, you know, you're living with a master being and they're there for a reason. Mm -hmm. I mean, lots of reasons actually, but communication, oh my God, you know, mm -hmm. Barbara, even Absolutely. our human relationships would open up to better communication. Wouldn't the world change? We, we really wouldn't wonder, right? If we're hurting each other or mm -hmm. being unkind or we're making wise decisions we would really check in, you know? So I hope that helps. It does. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's funny. I talked to you maybe uh, about six months ago because um, we had lost, actually she and another cat jumped out a car window and we had lost that cat uh, for eight days in Nebraska. We had just brought her into the family. That's the cat that we didn't ask for permission. And that cat is sitting right here looking at us as we're talking <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> so you had talked yeah, to her. You know. Another comment from Kudo. She says, cats don't run away, they walk. Oh, hi. In other words, they do it with great purpose. And they don't get lost. They know exactly what they're doing and where they're going. She said dogs sometimes get lost, though, but cats don't get lost. Are you talking to her, boo? She's talking. <laughs> Cinderella is talking to you. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you told me that when she uh, came back, she uh, wanted to teach me about leadership. There you go. So, there you go. And I've been trying to communicate with her more. It just always felt like Jonesy, I don't know, she just, like you said, shut off. The energy's very shut off. And so I didn't think I could communicate with her because there wasn't like an opening to really. Right, right. You know, I, I teach animal communication as a class a couple times a year. And I have three recorded classes too that I can sell you. But I mean, I really think when you're in a group, it enhances your ability because you're committed to practice, you know? And it's okay. so much easier if you're talking to other people's animals. You know, like let's say you're sitting down and having coffee with your neighbor and they're having trouble with their kids and you right away can see what's going on. But if it's your kids, you can't see it, you know? So right. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Easier to, because the emotional body again is connected. So we, that gets in the way sometimes or we expect them to do things a certain way when they have their own idea. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you, Heather. Thanks. I would learn so much from these questions. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we um, everybody's questions, right? Yeah. So Tina says, um, I feel like my mind is releasing another level of old constructs the last few days and finding confusion in what I'm intuitively picking up. Is there any guidance to help me remain a clear receiver and stay in my heart? Well, in my world, because we're still on earth, okay, and we still have duality. That's, we, we agreed to come into a world with duality. That means you have the opportunity to step off the path every day. You, you could be, well, like, again, Puddha says like Shakespeare, the, the goal is to be loving or not to be loving in thought, word, and deed every minute. Mm -hmm. So when you come to that vibration, that's a conscious creation. And when you step away from that, you know, and then you have to say, oh, well, what tool did I not use? Did I, did I not prep my day with, with unity balance? Or So I could just really quickly give you a, a list of tools that I do to keep my vibration high. And if I don't do them, do I notice a difference? Uh-huh, I do, because I'm human, okay? So whenever possible, I do my morning meditation outside where I can see my flowers and my garden and my pool. Um, Whenever possible, and I, whenever possible, because I'm in Southern California, I take off my shoes. So I get my feet on the earth, and I think that's important. Uh, it's not required, but it's, uh, it really makes a difference. So, and I think every, every person deserves 30 minutes in the morning of privacy, where you become a very good listener. Uh, you ask your questions, and of course, by now, you're working with communication with your guides. They're giving you information. You might be taking notes about the day or tomorrow. Um, and then you just sit and listen, and you really open up. Um, to, to the energy balance of the day. And I call this a, uni a unity breath. So it starts by grounding yourself down into the earth and connecting like an anchor into the earth and letting that frequency come up through your feet. And I bring it up to the heart and I let it build in my heart, okay? 
until I can really feel Mother Gaia. I can feel the love I have for this planet, and why I'm on the planet. And then I open up to the sun. And again, if I'm outside, I look directly at the sun and I bring the energy down because this is source light through the sun into my crown chakra, into my heart. And then I've got two balls of light. I've got Mother Earth and I've got Father Sun. You know, Mother, and this is the yin and the yang, the male and the female. And then I move into my own heart. You know, the third thing, uh, the small space of my heart, if I can, and I'm connecting to my I am presence or what you call a soul. And now I've triangulated. I've stepped out of duality. I've got the threefold flame of the cosmic source, which is mother, father, and soul. And I've got that in my body. And I wait until I see, um, well, you know, I worked with Drunvalo Melchizedek for years. And he says he waits until he sees the green light before he gets up. Mm -hmm. So you may or may not be a seer, but the green light is, is suggestive that you've now entered into manifestation which is an alpha light. Uh, sometimes I'll just go right into purple, which is violet flame, and that's good because I'm already starting the clearing process for the day. So that would be tool number one, and I would do that. And if I don't do that, if I get up and didn't plan right, you know, I have to leave, go to an appointment, I don't have the same day because I didn't give myself that, that, <laughs> that early meditation and that balancing energy. So I would do a shorter version of it then. I'd pull over the car and do, you know, a prayer to center below, center above, center within. And I feel that radiating core energy. Um, for students that are, are ready, uh, I teach the living Merkaba processes, which is activating um, the star tetrahedron around your body. And this puts you in con connection to the galactic frequency. Then. You start to get contact from your star family. You start to have a new experience of what it's like to be a human because, because you're a lot more than a human. So that's for people that have a lot, already have achieved self-love. If you don't have self-love yet, it won't work because that's first. Okay? And the power of the violet flame, the power of the whales, they're one and the same. Put the whale sounds on, blaze the violet flame. Set up your day, you know? Mm -hmm. And if you're new to this, give yourself an hour, you know? Don't push it. I mean, love yourself enough to create that. Uh, and then the key to really opening the doors throughout the day is to stay in gratitude. Because you're creating every single scenario, okay? I don't care, I'm, and I hate to say that something negative happens to you, like, you know, a car accident or someone, you know, yanks you out of the park and rapes you or you know you get a horrible disease i'm sorry to say you're creating all of that so the the solution energy comes in saying show me my part in this because you co-created every minute of that and that sees for people who don't know that yet they think that things are random or they think there's a predator and a victim which is not true it's all conscious or unconscious creation then you start to take responsibility for everything and once you move through the anger of the, you know, the planet has pretty much been lied to from the beginning of time, you can move to the truth and you're going to find all kinds of people like Alara. And these are the light workers you want to cling to. This is your soul tribe. This is the family you want to be with because they'll support you and they'll never throw you in the mud or tell you you're bad or steal from you. You know, you come into a new consciousness of friends and uh, sometimes your biological family doesn't come along and that's just how it is. You know? <laughs> yeah. You can't make them do it, you know. I think we all probably know that, you know. Mm -hmm. Somewhere mm -hmm. in the world, I have a sister, and uh, you know, we we weren't even close when we were like little kids. But now it's like, I know she prays for me. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh but wow! She yeah. might never understand what I'm doing, but yet, yeah, the, there's nothing that's going to stop me now because of the communication I'm receiving. So that's my validation, right? That I'm on mm -hmm. the right path. Yeah. So life isn't perfect. It's not meant to be perfect, but it's pretty darn near when you get into conscious creation. Um, I'm not saying you'll never make a mistake or you'll never, well, a mistake isn't the right word. You'll make a decision that later you don't agree with. That might be the case. Yeah. But you'll still learn from it, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So there's a question from uh, Jay Fletcher, and they're asking, where do we find the whale sounds that you're, you are referring to? Hmm. Well, one of my favorite ones is Paul Winter. You can purchase that. Uh, he has a beautiful well, well sound CD. Another one is Kamal, K-A-M-A-L. Um, and you can just go onto Amazon and type in well sounds. You'll get a whole lot of albums will pop up. Another one I play, <coughs> pardon me, it's in the background is, um, it's called Relaxation with Whales and Dolphins. And it's 60 minutes of softer dolphins and whale sounds. Or go to YouTube. There's a ton of YouTube out there. Yeah. And when people come over, you know, I don't have that many people in the physical come to me because I'm, you know, I'm working internationally. But when they do, I'm delighted to put on in the background a beautiful YouTube. And I just turn the sound down low, you know. And when they come in, we open the sacred space. 
there's that nice visual of whales and dolphins swimming. So there's lots of sources. And then if you're interested in meditations and, and um, guided meditations basically for healing, and then just the messages uh, that the dolphins and whales give me, I've got a couple of CDs you could look at online. And they all have whale and dolphin sounds, mm -hmm. but they're not just sounds, they're me giving the messages. Awesome, thank you. And yeah. that is all on, you know, some of some of that is on the special offer page that we'll talk about in a minute. That's right, yeah, it's on the special offer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, know. you can get it right here today. <laughs> no, no, not yet. <laughs> Neo gets to a point where it's like, I wanna play. You know, it's like, we're not done yet. Um, oh, I'm like sweating now. It's like, oh my goodness, I'm so hot. So Jillian is saying she just had surgery a few weeks ago and she's asking if she could have a little healing support and she's joining you in September, swimming with the whales in Tahiti. Ooh, Yay, exciting. hi Jillian, I'm glad you're coming with us. We need to get a few more people. So we're gonna have a, you know, enough to charter the boat. So <laughs> still plenty of time, but you know, we are yep. looking for a few more people to join our pod, to go to Tahiti and swim with the whales. Yeah, do we want to do a healing process? Yeah, why not? Because there were a few people who have asked for healing and I think, um, yeah, so why not, right? Yeah, why not? You want to do it now or do you want to wait till after we talk about the special offer? Uh, I guess we should do the offer, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> so let's talk about the special offer and then we'll, we'll do the healing process and there's just a few more questions. <laughs> Neo wants to play and Daddy doesn't want to play. <laughs> Uh, so cute. So if you're on the live page, you can just click on special offer. Those of you who are not, you can go to alara.at forward slash show forward slash Lori two. And so Lori, do you want to talk about there and, and this offer there, there's two package A, package B. Package A has about 10 items. There are meditations, guided meditations, workshops, and so on. And then package B includes everything in package A plus a one hour personal session with Lori. And for this one hour personal session, you can choose from a life path soul session, animal communication, acoustic record session, or a whale healing and clearing. Um, yeah, so you get to choose, so let, let us know. Um, so, so Lori, do you wanna talk about some of the items that are in package A? Yeah, with the, with the products. So I have a CD out as a download and it's called Ascension Guidance living in your sacred heart. It's a, a partner to the movie that I have, which is a free gift to you. Mm -hmm. um, and it, you know, in the movie, you can't do a long meditation because people are there to see the movie. They got to keep their eyes open. Right? So it's longer meditations and processes that are very much like what we've just talked about. Step-by-step -step processes to raise your vibration and keep you on the path of light all day long. Um, everything from simple meditation to whale healing. So I think you'll like it. It's really good. Um, then there's a CD called Lori Rian and Master Cat Food to Speak. And this has a lot of different things on it that are for people who are already awake. Uh, there's a conscious time travel. Uh, there's a song that teaches you to open the directions. It's first in the Lakota language and then, um, you know, in the shamanic way, it's called Puda's Sacred Song. There's a couple of different whale and dolphin messages, including the violet flame. Um, and there's a process to teach you to go into the heart. If you don't know how to go into the heart, some people don't know how to leave the mind. So we actually teach you two different modalities that are really originally taught by the Tibetan monks to put you back in your heart and to just do it all day long until you're trained. And I'm not saying no matter how skilled you become or how high vibrational being you become, you still will get bumped out of your heart. Uh, I mean, we're conditioned to judge. We're conditioned to have a <gasps> like that, right? Uh, and you have to go, wait a minute, I'm neutral to chaos and you know negativity and I'm living my life in love. Go use the process, you go right back in your heart. So that in itself is worth its weight in gold. Uh, it's called Entering the Sacred Heart. So it's mm -hmm. a beautiful CD for someone who's really dedicated now to the spiritual path. Um, there's two, uh, as I said, one is guided meditations with the great whales and the other one is messages from the great whales and dolphins mm -hmm. uh, in the CD category. And then I also have one where we're teaching the living Merkaba process, which is, again, for people who have achieved self-love and you're ready to make that galactic contact. And those are uh, the teachings that are used in there are from the Flower of Life. Uh, and the teacher that taught me was John Velo Melchizedek. And so you learn um, the process step by step through. Uh, it's a Zoom recording and you see through PowerPoint step by step how to activate the sacred geometry. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So it's, it's a very complex project. Uh, it takes a few hours to learn it, uh, but once you do, it'll change your life, okay? So it's really worth, if you're in that place, don't play with it though. If you're not ready, don't do it until you're ready, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and then I forgot, tell me the name of the classes. There's, there's five workshops. There is the Access Your Superpowers workshop, Escape Duality workshop, Powerful Healing Modalities four-week workshop, Your Galactic Lineage Star Family workshop, and Living Your Soul's Dream six hours, two-week workshop. Wow, that's like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So the, the class like Escape Duality is for people who are just really like realizing that it's time to get out of the negativity and they need help to do it. Okay, and then the last one you said, you know, living your soul's purpose is where I'm sharing the highest frequencies I can. Mm -hmm. So we can really identify what did you say you were going to do before you were born? And what is it that you have not yet done that you want to do? Okay, there's no have to's, it's get to's. Okay, what do, what, what do I get to do now with this new frequency? Yeah. And as I awaken to my power as a spiritual being of light and a mortal eternal being walking the planet, what is my soul's desire? And we go through that, and uh, mm -hmm. it's it's really powerful. People have really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, the so there's you know there's is, is, is no, Master Catherine no, no. teaching, and she's teaching you to go back in time to when the Earth was reseeded and to find your star family. It's very powerful, and it's really an Akashic record type of class where um, she identifies the different races of beings that are our star family. And I I, I totally love I love being in those classes with her because she has unlimited knowledge of the galaxy. Mm. Fun. It's it's still so mind-boggling, you know, because when I when I look at Neo, I mean, he's like, he's so wonderful. Everybody knows how wonderful he is. He's so wonderful. But then I still think of him as just like my little baby, right? Not not thinking that you know, he's you know probably very wise and probably a great master. But to me, he's like he's my little baby. <laughs> well, he gets to be both. You know, I'm sitting <laughs> yeah. here with a cuddly calico cat too that I'm scratching her chin right now. But it's also a great being that's, you know, uh, a master being that's decided to come to Earth, has chosen a cat form to teach from. So mm -hmm. um, we get to see both, right? Yeah. 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 I, I like to cuddle her. She likes to sleep with me. We, you know, she lays on my lap when we travel. I mean, we're, we're really bonded in our physical forms, but yet there's so much more. Yeah, there's so much more. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, okay, so that those two packages are available at alora.at forward slash show forward slash Lori too. And like I said, the, the one hour uh, session with Lori, you get to choose four different, I think there's four right. different uh, choices here. Life path, soul session, animal communication, Akashic records, or whale healing and clearing. Is there anything you wanted to add about those sessions with you, Lori? Well, a life path session is where you can ask anything. And what I do is I spend time with your guides. I can get in touch with your guides usually in about 10 minutes. And I do this in my own private time before I meet with you. Mm -hmm. So you send me questions and then I write down what your guides say. And then we bring them in during the session and you can talk to them. Um, so, I mean, the sky's the limit. Right. Um, uh, an animal communication session is where you send me a picture of an animal that's living or one that's transitioned. And you can ask anything, and I get in touch with them and, you know, get a lot of information from them before the session starts. Um, a whale healing and clearing is exactly what we've been talking about, uh, where you really get a core level healing uh, opportunity with the whales. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Akashic Records is a recorded journey of your soul over every lifetime. So if you choose that, you'll end up going to my website and to study the Akashic page, because there's a certain way that you ask questions in that session. And there's things that you, that you cannot ask, like mm -hmm. you cannot ask about other people, for example, because they will not have given their permission for us to look at their records. It's only mm -hmm. about you and about your, your life path. Okay? Right. And often things will be revealed to you that have been hidden from you until that time that will be helpful. Mm -hmm. okay? Awesome. Good. Thank you. Um, so if anybody has any questions about those, obviously, you know, just let us know, type in the chat or raise your hand. But yeah, those are available. When do you get? When do you come back from your Hawaii trip? Two weeks. Oh, two weeks. So then, you know, you'll be able to book your session, or Lori will contact you to book your session at that time. <laughs> I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> um, all right. So we're gonna take. We're gonna do a process in a second. But there was a Maria had her hand raised. So Maria, go. Uh, I'll unmute you, Maria. One second. Oh, go ahead, Maria. Hello. Hi. There you are. Hi. 
Hi, I'm, I'm outside. Awesome. Moving my body, which is the most delightful thing. And here, close to the ocean. I had a question. Thank you, both of you, so much. Um, actually, it's quite a bit of information, but um, I'm sitting with it, and I'm wondering how it, it is for the global community and what it really means for me. It seems like I've been called to the ocean, and I know that, and I've been called here for, I don't know, over 13 years I've been sitting here, and I'm here now with native land. I know it is. And I'm grateful. But yesterday, a couple of weeks ago, I heard over me with a voice I've never heard before. It says to read the word. And I shared that with my community and I see the benefits of it. But right now I'm sitting where like, I know I could use your gifts here and I'm gonna hopefully step into that soon. And I'm so grateful for Alara because she has healed me in so many ways. She really doesn't know how she's touched my life. But um, I'm always getting a next step, but it's always cut, like jobs or community. And I, I was told recently that the reason why I'm not stepping into my, my true gifts, which I've shared in community, but I'm, I'm afraid to take monetary Mm -hmm. whatever currency for it and I've worked on that and I worked on it and yesterday I think I I, I reached I reached the other side because I feel so good this morning and I was wondering if there's a path that I need to take because I've been telling the community that they need to go to the ocean and I know that I need to go but I don't live as close so I get outside as close as I can to it almost every day but I wanted to know if there's anything I can do to empower myself, since I know now that I am unfair, but I know that that's, I'm, I'm stepping into it this week. I have to do some, some true soul searching and ask. Um, mm -hmm. Your, your so, question is around the belief system of, of accepting money for your services? Yes. Is that, is that Very, okay. yes. Okay. So, the first thing too I want to say about your calling to the ocean is I have the same. I have to be, you know, near it and go as often as I can. I'm about three miles from the ocean and I mean I'm a water being in that sense and I'm on the boat once a week at least and you know I'm I'm very much called to the water and I'm not feeling the same. Uh, my chosen exercise is swimming, you know. I mean yeah. I like to be in the water. But everybody's different. Some people are called more to, you know, to be in the forest or to be where the mountaintops are. To a sacred site. I have a really good friend that's called to uh, uh, different mountain peaks and Garden of the Gods and places like that, in Colorado, and that's where they 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 bloom, you know. So I think Mother Earth has these portals, these vortexes, where we're called to come back to. Uh, yeah. Master Pluto would tell you there are even time capsules that are placed there by the Pleiadians that are opening up now to connect with you to help you achieve the fullness of who you are, you know, to bring support to your body. But regarding the, mm. the practice of the money thing, it's it's a it's an antiquated belief system. A lot of people have it. Um, it comes clear back from being a monk or a nun, you know, and taking vows of poverty, um, mm -hmm. and that's probably still in your DNA. So you could you could remove that. Well, you can do it by yourself. But whales and dolphins could help you. You know, they could help you remove that thought form. Um, and yeah. the truth is, um, what you really have to ask yourself is what is energy, and money is just a form of energy. So don't you want energy? It's life. I want it. I have it. I just don't. Well, money know. isn't necessarily good or bad. It's the energy of the money and what the money can create for you to expand your mission. Right. To help you travel and to help you have creature comforts because you deserve that. Yes. You deserve. We all deserve to have monetary abundance as long as we don't abuse the energy that's associated with it. In other words, we don't become greedy or we don't become manipulative. But if right. someone does that, that really isn't isn't. It isn't associated with you and your belief. It's 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 simply what they're doing. But right. Think of somebody who says, "I want a dog," and then they put the dog in the backyard in a chain link fence in jail. The dog never gets walked or taken to the park or any attention or maybe not even good food and water. Is that yeah. abusive to the dog? And, but yet they're feeding their 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 the side of them that says, "I want, you know, I want something. I want to own something or you know control something." It's the same thing. Okay, it could be food, could be an animal, could be a relationship, could be money, could be a job. But if it isn't held in balance and in love, then it will be destructive. So 
just keep money under your hat in the sense of I want more energy and I want more energy so I'll do good things. I have I have the tool to do good things on the planet. And that will help you. I mean, I don't yeah. we don't have to become millionaires to do our jobs, but you know, it's nice to have the money to get on a plane and go somewhere. Or yes. to create a workshop for me or a retreat and I have to have money to do that. I do. I, I want to create a, a somehow a, a community of dance in, in celebration. I mean, I, I'm, but with travel, I know it's a global thing. Yeah. It keeps coming to me that I have to go globally. So I just um, thank you but for start that. Start where you are first and then go global, right? Oh, I've done that, Alora. I've been in community doing that, given for years now. No, so I know. I know but, I'm but, and, but be in communities, start where you are and, you know, receive the money the, the compensation for it but yeah. that's the block that i'm wondering what it is when i go there that i don't ask oh. i just don't ask start. they know well you can change I, yeah start. yeah to start you can change go into your heart spend more time in your heart your heart will guide you yeah your mind your mind is the one that's talking you out of this okay okay it, it, i will i'll old, do that it's an old belief system wouldn't you yeah. say that uh, your perception or your awareness or your belief governs all parts of your life? Yes. Even God. I mean, Even God, God. Is out by many people's belief systems, but God doesn't go away. It's just the belief system or how, again, the awareness of that. So allow yourself to spend more time in the heart and open to new possibilities. Okay? Yes, I, I will. Thank you. I did have a, a quick vision of women like nuns and people flashing through my meditation yeah, so i know DNA. yeah of course yeah. No, most no of us have <laughs> yeah. yeah right it's about upgrading the dna yeah yeah, yeah. thank you so come see awesome. us or call us okay well, yes i will thank, thank you. you maria thank you all right let's get started i don't want to lose our opportunity for a process okay sorry <laughs> all right right so if I could, I would play whale sounds right now, but it, it doesn't come through the Zoom yeah. unless you're playing them. So I'm not going to do that. So yeah. we're going to imagine that the whales are singing and each person's going to close their eyes and move deep into their heart. And you're going to surrender to the innocence of when you were a child, to when you were very young. Just start bringing that energy in. Great whales have told us that this is the time to accelerate our transition from a physical human into reclaiming our own divine life blueprint. And for all intents and purposes, they call this the avatar, the 12 stranded golden child. As we remember that our consciousness and our self-awareness, we can remember that we are humans who have the potential to access mastery, mastery from other lives and mastery from this life. We have the potential to become that superhuman that we are stranded for as we move into the word intentional evolution from the place of being a conscious creator. The whales start out by saying, remember us as the elders. We have more experience than you do. You should access it. Use us as an opportunity to unlock the mechanisms within you and open the crystalline seals. The great whales have shared that they are the keepers of the codes of creation. They are our galactic ancestors and they seek now to connect with you, to activate more dormant DNA. So they're asking you now to think about your divine spiritual gifts, those ones that you can make conscious. And also to think about telepathic communication being the purest form of communication. Feel into that. Let's start this process of deeply connecting to the energy field of what we call the Merkaba or the light body around you. going to open a portal for each of you in your home. It's probably the easiest to do it just right where you're sitting under your feet. Okay, just see a pool of water. And you're the creator, so allow yourself to slip into this warm, tranquil salt water and allow your body to stay safe and just meditating while we, we have this experience in the etheric. As you slip into the portal, you're immediately in the ocean with this beautiful whale. And the whale comes to you, identifies you, and asks you to merge by coming into that left eye. The eye is a portal or a gateway. 
And as you come in, you feel this warm sense of state of bliss. You're being infused now with light and sounds from the great will that are starting already to offer you a healing alignment as we move into multidimensionality. The first thing they're saying is that from this place, your perception is immediately changed. Your reflection of your state of consciousness is now different. You can access what we would call your own voltage, your own vibration, and realize that by connecting to the well, it's immediately upgraded. Every moment of your consciousness creates the world that you inhabit. Visualize the world differently now as you merge and lay back with this great whale. Vendakata is the name of the whale. And the whale says, love will always connect you to source and to all others that are resonating from this perspective. This is the oneness that we all long for while we're here on Earth. We get homesick. And when we connect back to the oneness in the heart, we can do our very important work here, feeling supported, opening to the pathway that is there for us. See yourself as a being who originally answered the call to serve here on Earth. Originally, you're from another location, from deep space. We're all here on Earth to participate in this great experiment of love. The vibration and the essence of what the experiment is about is love. When you agreed to become human and I agreed to become a whale, you temporarily put yourself to sleep so that you would immediately not remember your true self. You might ask yourself why you did that. The opportunity to be in duality offers your soul expansive growth and new opportunities and experiences that you cannot have in the higher realms. Also, you're connected to the mission of here on Earth, and that is expansive. But today we're going to talk about you. We're merging our energies now, and our auric energy is becoming yours. Feel and sense the royal purple light spinning around you, just the violet flame. We're offering you a personal, very expansive healing as we connect to the planet and to the grid systems. Take some deep breaths. And sense and feel the energies of now who's approaching. You have three beautiful dolphins swimming towards you now. So there's an opportunity here to connect with them as well. So slip out of my right eye and come just above me where my blowhole is. And take a seat as the three beautiful dolphins approach. They hold codes for your future. They tell you the old view of your DNA said that your genes predetermine and control your physiological and behavioral traits. They're reminding you that when you were born, you were taught that your DNA is genetically predisposed. And they're reminding you now that that was a lie. Science has evolved just a little bit now, and you have the scientific uh, world of what we call epigenetics, which has now proven that your perceptions of the environment, including your consciousness, actively controls your genes. Epigenetics is applied consciousness in motion, and this is where we're going, where nothing is predetermined by shaping your own biology, and you become the master of your life. And again, we remind you, the dolphins are the epigenetists of the human world. They tell you it is their designated task to begin to calibrate and heal the humans who ask for their help. So ask them now. We lovingly suggest that you use this opportunity to experiment with this knowledge and come to the dolphin community in thought, word, and prayer. Today, they say, with your permission, we access your source point or the origin of who you are. We access the nature of your own personal consciousness. And today, for each person who gives permission, we will give you an alignment of the highest light we come to you freely with no other reason or need. We are already ascended and we have already had every possible experience the earth can offer us. This free will and independence now is applied to you. This is why we have returned. In a sense, we are somewhere in the future where you will also dedicate your life back to service. 
Let us lovingly now connect through your pure energy and the intentions that you're generating to us now. And we connect to your source point, to your blueprint, and this allows for accelerated and magnificent transformations to begin to happen. And sense us beginning to swim around you now in the frequency of the Merkaba itself. We offer you support through simple energy structuring and sonogenetic sound. Consider the possibility for yourself if you allow yourself to heal. What if your physical form becomes healed? Would that activate a different part of you? Would your highest potentials change? Say yes to love. Love for yourself first. Today, put yourself in front of everyone, in front of everyone and everything, because love is the only energy that is real. And today it's for you, it's transformative. From this place we offer you, you can say all is well, and we are simply becoming what we already are. When you are vibrating with the frequencies of light that transcend the chaos, you will be surprised at the viable and peaceful solution energy that will be revealed to you regarding every daily challenge. When you know you can access a loving solution to every part of your life while being on earth, you are greatly enhanced and you will find yourself living in ease and abounding joy, just like the dolphin. We ask you to remember as we navigate your lives with you during this time that you ask for this and we're always available to come to you to give you an upgrade. You are an awakening member of humanity and of life, and we are all connected. We are the sacred alchemists, and we dedicate to the awakening of humanity everything that we do. We are divine intervention, and we love you so much. Our prayer is that by choosing to upgrade your DNA, you actualize your greatest potential. We ask that you retain longevity and perfect radiant health, and live your perfect and abundant life as a conscious steward of the earth just like us. Remember, you are the masters of your own true identity. We pray that each day you live as a conscious creator, changing the vibration and assisting us, the cetaceans, in birthing a new world of heaven right here on earth. We thank you now and we'll come to you when you ask for it or when you desire it. We will come immediately to you through the etheric. But let's turn our attention now back to the great well. The Great Well teaches us that the universe is one living, breathing, conscious being, demonstrating interconnectedness and oneness. This Great Well is an example of the all-loving, all-knowing consciousness that came to Earth to be a steward for Gaia and for humanity. Using their living Merkaba, which is their light field, they align with the frequency or the resonance of Gaia as they make adjustments all day long. They're connected to the grid. They work their magic as they swim about 60 miles outside of the grid, sensing and feeling the power of this being, asking before this is over, how can you assist me more? The great whale says the end of polarity or what you call duality is nearing. The responsibilities that the whales have held for humanity is now being shared with you. We're asking you to awaken more each day to your true self to connect to your star family and stay connected all day long to your creator. We are reclaiming the true dreaming state, which is the living heart. This is true creatorship. What this means is that through exercising every day, heart emanated intentional evolution, we are moving into a time when your thoughts will manifest very quickly into your reality. So we ask you to be the chosen one, to awaken to the truth of your soul's journey and meet us here where we all become conscious creators together. The whales are the ancients, the elders, and the greatest teachers we will know throughout our many journeys and lifetimes upon earth. The whales guide you back now to the beautiful portal that you slipped into to return now to your physical body and realigning your auric fields of your physical form, realigning your organ systems. Sensing your metabolic, your metabolism slowing, just moving into a very relaxed state. This is the place of joy, the place of bliss, a place to reconnect spirit, 
and body, heaven and earth through our consciousness. Let's all say together subconsciously and consciously, I am ready to embrace love, creativity, and magic. I'm ready to embrace higher dimensional principles as I embrace the powerful light codes and the currents as I release my fears. I am ready to balance myself between heaven and earth, to be more each day like the great whales and dolphins, to step forward as a master of these energies on earth. I am that I am. I am loved and supported beyond measure. So be it, and so it is. Thank you, everyone. Come back, stretch your legs and your arms. Feeling into this new crystalline matrix of energy that's right there in your own physical form. And you can say, effectively, now I can carry more light than I did this morning. <laughs> yeah thank you thank you thank you that was beautiful that was so powerful oh my goodness i loved it i feel like i'm uh glowing you know yeah that's it we're glowing <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah how's everybody else doing uh hopefully nobody was driving because there's no way you could have no no you can't, can't do that driving yeah. At least not in a car. <laughs> mm. Well, I want to thank you for all the work you're doing and for the opportunity to be here. Oh, this was so wonderful. I was like, I just, I just have so much fun talking with you and, and sharing all this beautiful wisdom that you have about, you know, from Master Cat Puda, from the whales, from the dolphins. It's just always so illuminating and enlightening. I just always learn so much each time. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, that it's was my pleasure. Great um whew, i was crying is that okay absolutely that's okay yeah <laughs> the sign we're really back in the heart don't you think yeah I exactly yeah it's it's just it's bliss it's joy it's awe it's that connection you know it's yeah totally fine not to worry uh wow thank you and so you can experience thing, sorry go ahead oh she was just saying the only thing we can say now as humans when you have this knowledge is when you wake up in the morning let's go Today can be better and better and better. It just gets better, mm -hmm. you know, just yeah. gets better. More to look forward to. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. I love it. Um, whew, so you can, you can, you know, this was just a short process. Um, there's more processes like this, guided meditations and so on in the special offer packages that we have avail available for you. Please do check them out if you'd like to connect more with the dolphins, more with the whales, more of some of the, the processes and the workshops that um, Lori teaches, um, definitely get the packages. All right, so thank you, thank you. You, you know, I would suggest drink some water, walk around a little bit, you know, <laughs> if you can walk around outside in the fresh air, even better. Um, but yeah, just be in this energy, be in this space and just be in gratitude. So I was just like, yeah, that was, I was, that was awesome, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you everybody for all your wonderful questions. You know, honestly, I, I received so much and I've learned so much too. It's like, wow, I'm just like, so, I'm so grateful. So thank you everyone. Until next time, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Have a safe mm -hmm. trip, Lori. Thank you. And have fun. <laughs> Bye everyone. Bye for now.